Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I'm just one of the many faceless people on the internet. I've always hesitated to join in on the discussion about the myriad controversies our community has had over the years, but this latest one sent me over the edge. I can't stay silent anymore. I've been an avid follower of Linus Tech Tips videos for over a decade now, and I really like the channel's content as well as the creator's down-to-earth attitude. I believe that Linus's positive effect on this community cannot be overstated. He helped create this niche on YouTube, and he should be commended for standing up for this community throughout the years against corporate greed and anti-consumer behavior. The success of a YouTube channel is entirely driven by viewership. The community supported this channel and made it to the $100 million company it is today. They watched the videos and bought products. Without the audience, this company would have, it wouldn't have existed. It seems that Linus, somewhere along the way, lost his touch with reality and became focused on uploading one video per day regardless of the amount of factual errors in those videos. In the beginning, he might have needed this manic upload schedule to grow the channel because it was what set him apart from other tech channels. Also, the errors he made were relatively small, they were usually corrected at the end of the video. This was fine for some time, but that was back when the channel had 10,000, 100,000 subscribers. But the channel now has 15.5 million subscribers. And the other sub-channels have a pretty significant number of subscribers. The company has around 120 employees and is valued at $100 million. This is no longer two guys with a handheld camera figuring it out as they go along. It is a company, and a massive one at that, and it should act like one. Instead, as the channels grew, errors grew in size and frequency. Latest issues include the Trust Me Bro warranty situation, the RTX 4090 review charts, the CPU cooler roundup, which contained an NHD 15 that was pegged at 100 degrees all the time, and their failure to notice that the Ponage mouse had protective covers on the Teflon feet. What takes the cake, however, is the latest Billet Lab situation where he sold their one-of-a-kind prototype in a charity auction. And when Gamers Nexus reported on the situation, rather than admit the fault and apologize publicly to Billet Labs, he responded by going after Steve Burke and telling him that he didn't get all the details and the situation has already been resolved. Billet Labs confirmed that the situation was only resolved after GN uploaded their video. This shows that what Linus wrote was a blatant lie. Apparently he thought he could lie to our faces and no one would catch him. I believe he should have sent them the money the second he received their quote. He's instead still offering to get in contact with the buyer and try to get their prototype back. This is absolutely baffling. He should have just sent the money and then offered to put them in contact with the buyer. His testing for the block is also heavily flawed. It was never meant to handle a 4090. It was not optimized for the typical PCB layout of a 4090 and yet he tested it with a 4090, and based his conclusions off of that. He said the bottom line will not be affected by the block's performance, but to the small amount of people who will buy this block, it will be affected. He has the power to significantly harm Billet Labs, and he doesn't seem to realize that 
people trust his judgment and that his opinion matters to a great many number of people, that will certainly affect Billet Labs and can actually kill the entire company because they are still very small. It was a remorseless response. And the What Do We Do Now video contained more of the remorseless attitude. He should have apologized to Steve and to Billet Labs for his response and for the whole situation. There isn't a single false accusation in GN's videos or in Hardware Unboxed's video on the issue. A smaller creator, Cortex, was crucified back in 2021 for criticizing Linus. While I don't agree with everything Cortex said, he made some very valid statements regarding their testing methodology at the time. A channel of this size can't make these errors and expect to keep moving forward without criticism or backlash from the community. A channel like Gamers Nexus or Hardware Unboxed are way smaller and their testing is way more accurate. I actually stopped relying on Linus Tech Tips GPU and CPU reviews since 2018 because I felt that Hardware Unboxed and Gamers Nexus were doing a much better job with a significantly smaller team. Something has to change in order for this channel to continue producing quality content. Linus actually did the right thing when he hired another CEO because the company clearly outgrew him. Many of the LMG employees expressed their displeasure with the manic upload schedule and they appear to be right. The laundry list of errors in the recent videos give validity to their concerns. I believe he should focus on quality first for the foreseeable future. Just dial down the uploads and focus on delivering immaculate videos. And then he can evaluate what it would take to scale up the production back to one video per day as he used to do. The computer hardware niche on YouTube has changed significantly since Linus created the channel back almost 15 years ago. It has become significantly more competitive, and he must adapt to the situation instead of lashing out at every criticism he receives. I believe the community we have right now is great because it is self-policing. Whenever anybody makes a mistake or is out of line, no matter who they are or or how rich they are, or uh, how large is the company behind them. This community just keeps insisting that the right thing must be done. It transcends countries, it transcends individuals, and I am proud to be a member of such a devoted community. Anyway, this was my take on the uh, recent situation. And I hope everything turns out okay for all the uh, affected parties. This is Diligence, signing out.